Hello everybody, my name is Liam Niles and welcome back to Game of Thrones, the Telltale Game series. We're going to continue from where we left off, which should be with Roderick, I believe. Is this Roderick? Yes, it's Roderick and Duncan, good old Duncan. We're not far now. Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? Our ironwood trees. Who the bloody hell did this? You see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. Before this is done, we'll make them pay. Every last one of them. Every last one of them will die. Aye. The White Hills need to answer for this. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. Will do, Duncan. Will do. If she go around her father to help us, she must have some. She purpose. can help us. I think she can help us. The yes, of course she can. We can't afford. Just be wary, my lord. I will, Duncan. You see what her family's done here. A load of bastards. Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children, but this could be a trap. No, Duncan. Keep it. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. Gwen. Gwen. Gwenny. Gwen. Gwen. Gwanda, where are you? Gwen. Gwen. Win. Come on. I mean, there's an old well. Could I look at the old well at least? I mean, nothing else is happening. Win. This well. I remember hiding down there, playing monsters and maidens with little Mamie and uh, Megan. Oh, it's been so long, you can't even remember. Gwen. Gwen, I do not have time for this bullshit. Where are you? Gwen, there's a grindstone. Good to know that mm. back in them days they were still it's grinding. The sawdust. I hear the whining of the grindstone. The thought of all the years. So long ago. Come on, Gwen. Gwen, where are you? Gwyn, come on, look. Where the heck are you? Is this, is this it? Damned white hills. Cutting down everything they see. What a bunch of dumbasses. They understand nothing about Ironwood. No, they clearly don't. They're stupid. They're stupid idiots. What, what do you want? A white hill wagon. Split beams, cracked wheels, shoddy workmanship. Clearly white hill. <laughs> they are stupid. Gwyn, where are you? Like, honestly, where where are you? I mean, there's an axe. It looks like ashes. Gwyn, please, just show yourself. Good. Forgive me. I... I wasn't sure what I'd find out here. Hello, Gwyn. Roderick. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? There's no yes. way to miss it. It's terrible work. And you won't stop. I have to stop this. It can't go on. I know. You have to trust me. I don't agree with my father's ways. I do trust you, Gwyn. I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Thank you for paying respects to my father and brother. Coming tonight. Thank it's you. Good Gwyn. to see you again. And you too, Roderick. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher, that he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. If you must know, he's bringing us an army. Yes. You may think that's going to help your family, but it will only lead to more killing. Hopefully, White Hills. I want peace between our families. So do no I. No more wars. No more bloodshed. 
Is that what you want to? I need to hear you say it, Roderick. Yes. Peace means my family will be safe. Unfortunately, the White Hills are wisdom, stupid. Roderick. And it is good you have it. Because peace is the only hope your family has. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless you let Griff feel like he's in control. No. I know you refuse to kiss my father's ring. I won't bend the knee or bite my tongue. Not in my own house. Don't no. Don't be a fool. There is so much more at stake here than just your pride. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hills. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. Why are you telling me all this? Is it meant to frighten me? To make me bend the knee and bow my head? No, of course not. Although that's what my father wants. And he knows you can't fight him. He knows exactly how weak you are. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. If someone's betrayed me, I'll find them and cut their throat myself. Deliver justice to your people however you like. You'll have to find them first. And I don't know who it is. We know you're planning to force Griff from your home. Even if it endangers Ryan's life. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. No. If you want peace between our families. There's no way I can make that promise. I could have helped you, but now I won't be coming here again. I'm sorry, Gwen, There's but I'm not bending the knee to that ass axe. I hope you do your part. Those riders are nearly upon us. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. All right, Gwen. I'll do my best. Come along, Duncan. We need to get out of here. And fast. Are we going to be carried? That would be my guess. No. Wait, what? Was So we're not swapping characters. What was? Why was the tree there then? I know, you're sad. Wait, they destroyed the tapestry? Those bastards are going to get it now. Mother. Roderick. Look at what's become of our house. You were nowhere to be found and they just... Oh, they are vile men. I'm going to screw him up you? now. We need you here. Mother, I... I went to see Gwyn Whitehill. You did what? You would meet with the girl who once... tore this house apart? Oh, I... I see now why you went in secret. Surely you must have known I would have counseled against it. I know, Mom. She Mom. wants to help us. She wants to bring about peace. And as much as you may mistrust her, we need help. I don't know how you can trust that. Well, what did she have to say? Lord Whitehill is plotting against us. I don't know his plans, but I fear them. And the only way he'll stop is if we submit to Griff's rule of our house. What? Would you really give up control of our house? Griff is already a torment. These are dire times, but I won't kneel to a white in my own mouth. Never. Then don't kneel. I won't. Is this all? Did you learn anything more? You need to tell me. What I've told you is nothing compared to what else I've learned. I trust your mum. There is a traitor in our house. 
on our council. No, this can't be. And all our plans to save Ryan, to save this house. All gone. Roderick, who could have turned on us? Times have... But I never if thought I this would guess, happen. Yeah, Royland. Royland worries me the most. Perhaps. But what about Duncan? Duncan? Or Maester Ortengren. If we don't know, then we can't trust anyone. Then again, I don't know why we should believe anything that girl told you. The White Hills would love to sow dissent in our house with lies of traitors. I believe it. Those bastards, you better not be taking the piss out of Ethan Stair. Those bloody mighties. <laughs> what do you want from me? No, no, he was over there. And Ramsay was I'll here. Play it how I want. You, you will prick. bend a knee to your liege lord. I must speak true. I haven't the balls to defy you. Shut your mouths and stop this at once. Oh, look here. It's the new lord. You're in luck. We're just getting to the best part. <laughs> Little Lord Ethan's final breath. Unless you want to play the Lord of House Forester instead. You can't do this. You can't do this. Get out of our house right now. Do as you're told. We'll do as we please. Or someone Besides, just cut all their heads off. Finished. You must stop. Oh, I know you've seen it before. You want to play? Yeah, we want to play. Give me the knife. No, no, that won't do. If you won't be Ethan, you'll just have to watch and see how it's done. <laughs> oh, please, no! Say hello to your father. You balance. I'm gonna kill you oh, all. Well done, well done. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say he died better than the real Ethan. <laughs> Come on, Roger. You, eh? you want to be next? Men without honor are lower than dogs. <laughs> you smaller balls as well. <laughs> <laughs> This ends now. It's over. Right, Make his Rusty, mother watch. No but now we'll really have some fun. Enough. <clears throat> Griff will deal with him. When he's done, he'll own this fucking house. I'm gonna kill you too. And you'll regret what you've done here. No, Tell I won't. Boy out of here. I'm gonna kill you. you still can. And I'm gonna have so much pleasure while doing it. Roderick. Now is not. Oh, now really is the time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slice his throat. Oh, you, you gone quiet now? Is it because I struck you in the face? No, oh, precious boy. Oh. Are we actually changing characters this time? It's not just gonna be Roderick again. Not that I would complain. Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrod. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. Ah. Uh -huh. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. You'll kill them all, volunteers. John. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. I volunteer. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Brit's going to. <gasps> he took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. I understand why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many. I'll go in his place. Just take me instead, John. I'm a John. better fighter than Brit. You'll want my sword before his. 
I don't doubt your skill, but I need every sword that's willing to go. Even someone like Brit. Come on, John. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. Don't worry, John, I, I got this. You? I need your word, Garrett. I understand. You won't have any trouble. I'll hold you to that. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Good. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well. Make sure they're ready. Good. We'll do it, John. We'll kill them all. What? Well, what did you say first? I can't even hear either of you. I haven't heard him singing like your friends. He wants My to see God. us work together. No more problems. That's on you. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with either of you on this Craster's mission. Well, there's something you should know then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> you what? dick. I'm just curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. <laughs> Never ends with you. Well, I didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. Well, I did try. And you, you just said your uncle was here about Ironwood. But I think it was something else. I Cutter. noticed this part here. Calm down. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. Yes, no, it's, it's a little. It's a, it's a story. I had it's a witch's den where they turn children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? No, not. It's a no. fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. Lord Forrester knew all about it. He said it's a place of great power. Power that could save my house. And this cool. is it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. And right. here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. You two deserve. Have fun chasing your tails. Okay. Bye, Finn. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? Finn doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumors is all. Okay. I know myself. <laughs> rumors my ass. You're hiding something, Cotter. And what is it, Cotter? They're just things I hear around Castle Black's or people talk, you know. I guess they do. Not about the North Grove, then. They don't. You do? Probably heard you talking about it. Don't make me regret lying about the knife for you, Cotter. Tell me what you know. All right. All right. Come on, Cotter, spill the beans. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. Where? I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. <gasps> Shock twist. I know, I know, it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons south of the wall. We got caught, so, so I passed myself off as a local, and well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for stealing. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. Cotter, every blade in Castle Black will slit your throat if they find out. You're their sworn enemy. You don't need to tell me that. A we. Oh my god. We're still friends. Yes, we're still friends, Cutter. I know it's a lot to take in. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That yeah. Is good to hear. <laughs> still brothers. Please, when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! <laughs> what did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking. My god, Cutter. I'll be right there. I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories, old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Mm. Your lord knew what he was talking. Do you know where the North Grove is? No. 
but I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway, heading back home. I can guide you, keep you alive. Ooh, stick with me and I'll show you the way. All right. Yes, Cutter. Even we'll do it together. Thirsty, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Now! Uh, on Please, don't tell anyone about me. I won't, They'll Cutter. They'll kill me if they found out. I mean, I, I probably won't have a choice. My dialogue will probably cut out or something. Are we going to be Mira? No. Is this Asha? I haven't seen you in a long time, night? Asha. Seems the Targaryen girl may take the city soon enough. We'll find Croft here somewhere. You're right. Uh. No, it fucking hurts, Asha. Come on, Beska. What have you been through? My God, Beska, can you, you don't tell me? Half as bad as you did a day ago. I'll go and find this Croft. Thank you, Malcolm. It's appreciated. Pesca, can you actually talk to me? I don't like this silent treatment. It was him or me, right? You must have thought only one of us was making it out. It's not fair to ask. I know. It's fucking brutal. There was no time to think. My uncle was just the one closest. That's actually true. Right. Yes. Fuck. I just... I thought... <laughs> Forget it. It doesn't matter. I am sorry. I'm sorry, Beska. Look, I am. You're my friend, my partner, my sister. I'm not going anywhere without you, Beska. Okay? That's horse shit, little brother. You're going home. With you. I understand. Your house. Your family. But there's nothing for me with you in Westeros. I'll help you get your army. And then... I'm done. Oh, Beska. Beska. I don't Asher, understand. I know where Croft is. Good. This Croft. How well do you know him? Too Never well. heard of him before. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. That's a load of balls. That's a fucking oh my god. Son of a poxy whore. He hey! Some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Come on, man, calm down. Well, that went well. All right, maybe I deserve that. That's not even a taste of what you deserve. Calm down, Croft. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learned. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you. <laughs> whoa, 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 chance. whoa. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Um... Oh, no! Be reasonable! I am reasonable! <laughs> I'm letting him fucking choose! My hair could use a trip. Take some off the top, would you? Do not fucking test me! Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asha. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Oh, God. Now choose! Or I slice off your balls, Asha. Um. Hey, hey, hey! A man betrays my trust. Um. There's a price to be Let him go. Enough. No more fucking about. Fuck you, Croft. I ain't losing Out anything. Your way. You didn't need your testicles anyway. Oh, please don't. <laughs> oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asha. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are you are you fucking joking? <laughs> you bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit. Just look at Malcolm's face, he ain't got a clue what's Arthur. going on. Have a drink. <laughs> Jordan, the Khaleesi's best wine. Yes, please. Your friend has an interesting sense of humour. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You You're tell a long me way from young guy. We have a proposition for you. We need an army, Croft. My home back in Westeros is under siege. We need your hellhounds. 
A hundred good men. Am I going to hop each tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. My house is rich, Croft. When yeah, this we war are. is won, I'll pay you. More gold than you've ever seen. <laughs> Lord Asher! A fucking highborn thief. Yes. Not a chance in seven hells would I believe a promise from you. Oh, just a minute. He speaks the truth. Aye. Well, it's not up to me. The second sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. For now. Perhaps we could talk to her. Yes, please. Hey, 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 hey. Can you at least give me this information? Oh. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. Yes, we do. <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you just happen to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world. Black scales all over with a red frill running down his back. Yes. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. Beska. Beska. Show him. A dragon did that. So you rolled over into the bloody campfire in your sleep. Croft. I've Come seen on, her Croft. dragon. <sighs> Oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If no, you're thank lying you. About this, it'll cost more than your balls. Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. She'll want to hear about him right away. Yes. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. Come on. I got a good grin. Oh, we're Garrett now. Come on, Garrett, we got this. Big day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Yes, sir. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. If it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Yeah. Aside from him being lowly thief, I mean. Cotter's not a bad sort. I trust him. Yeah, I trust him. Even after he tried stealing your map. Do as you like. But if we're going out there tomorrow, in the middle of fucking nowhere, I'd want to know who I can trust. Me too. Finn. Get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. All right, then. I'll do it. Weird thinger. Forget your name. Frostfinger, that was it. God, let's go light the torches then. That torch has been lit. Light. Let it burn. And burn this one too, Garrett. Oh, more torches. God, Garrett, you did a poor job. A piss poor job. Light the next one. Well done, Garrett. Now we're... Um, right, I've lit the torches. Oh, I want to use a shield. One of my ironwood shields. That's ironwood for sure. Strongest material in the world. Any more torches that I've missed? Oh. Oh. Who's here? Pig farmer. Dickhead. A 300 mile wall. 
and you're still in my way. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Craster's, but this is even better. Oh, fuck you, Brit. Still have some fighting spirit left in you, huh? Yes. I'm gonna kill you right now. Yes, you did do your duty, and look where it got you, you dickhead. Hey! Banished to the fucking wall. Whoa. Oh, what about my father? You know what? You met him at first, like a pig. Seemed to me fear he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. So you know what? Taste my blade, you bastard. Hey, can you actually talk to me? I don't like the silent treatment. God, this game is so broken. And I thought you were going to make this easy. You're going to die for what you did. Going to die for what you did. God, this game is such a mess. Good thing the characters are enjoyable at least. Burn mash for survival. B. The bit's gonna die tonight. You got lucky, pig farmer. You're going to slaughter me. Like my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. No. Fuck you. You never gave my father any mercy. Whoa. Oh. Ho -ho. Whoa, burn mash for survival. Burn mash for survival. Get the sword. Smack his head in. Yes. Yes. Die. Oh crap. He's on top of me. Oh, that's that face you want to see on top of you. Get off. Come on, Garrett. Haha. Garrett, you're doing real good. Kick him off the side of the wall. You're so dead now. Yep, you're gonna die. Just fucking finish it. Don't piss yourself on the way down. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Yes. Bitch is dead. Oh, Finn. Finn! Uh-oh. And who are we now? Roderick. People are starving and afraid. The White Hills have driven them away from the ironwood groves. Out of the way. Well, I'm sorry. I'm out of time. I just looked over. Wow, I can't believe we're going to get another episode out of, you know, episode three. But here we are. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Subscribe for more above average content. And we'll continue this in the next video. Goodbye.